Hey guys, welcome back. This time we are going to be focusing on coding and it's been a long time since I've published it, but fine, whatever. So this time we are going to be focusing on coding and we are going to do some hard code coding out here. Initially we started off this channel and we were doing some Java coding. So that's why we are going to jump off Mac. We are going to do Java coding. And to start off, I've taken this famous website called Code Forces. It's done for comparative programming. People do practice coding on there. So that's what I'll be doing in this video also. So what we'll be doing is we'll be solving problems from code forces, starting with the problem which has the maximum number of people solving it. So it'll be the easiest one. Slowly going to problems which have lesser number of people solving. So basically increasing the complexity of that problem. So it's harder for us to solve. And it also helps us learn new stuff in Java. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. So to start off, you go to the link in the description, like the first link in the description, click on that and you can go to this particular page. And once you go there, click on the first problem, which is 4A Watermelon. And make sure to create account in code forces. So basically you create an account in code forces and once you're done, you'll go to codeforces.com and now they go to the problem set section and you click on this tick. Okay. Which says the number of people who have solved it. You click it once to show you in the descending order basically. So we'll be solving the first one, which is 4A watermelon. And this is a brute force and math and it involves that basically. Now let's go ahead and let's read the question and let me try to make you understand that question and then we'll jump to solving that question. So what this question basically says is you have two friends, Pete and Billy, they decide to buy a watermelon and they choose the biggest and the ripest of the ones so they can get the best watermelon possible. And once they weigh it, the watermelon is weighed to be W kilos. They rush home, they cut the watermelon, but what to do? Our friends are great fans of even numbers and they want to divide the watermelon into such a way that each of the two parts weigh equal, even number of kilos. Basically, you divide the watermelon and both the, you divide them into two sets, right? Like if you, if you divide them into like eight pieces, let's say, then you have six and two or four and four. It does not have to be equal. It just have to be that both the numbers you divide them into have to be an even number. That's what we got to do. So you got to help them find the way to do it. Now, what I did was basically to cut a watermelon and split them into two even numbers means that in the original case, it was an even number and it was not zero greater than that, but it was an even number. So that's the simple thing. You just find out if the given W that's what the input is. The input is a W which you get. If the W is an even number, once you figure that out, you can just say, okay, it's an even number. Now you split it, you'll get even numbers, right? That's what you got to do. And if it's able to do that, like if, if it's an even number, then you print yes. If not, you print no. Like for example, they've given an input out here, like eight. Now, when you look at eight, you can split it into two and six or six and two for Pete and Billy, or you can put it in four and four. It does, it does not have to be equal, but just that both the numbers you split them, you have to keep them as even numbers. That's what you got to do. So let's go ahead and let's write that code in Java. Now for writing the code, I'm going to be using this editor called as IntelliJ IDE. It's, it's a specific one for Java. So I've created a folder called YouTube code forces. You can go ahead and do that. Or you can use any code editor or IDE or anything you like. But if you're using this, do let me know in the comment section. I'd be really happy to see that. And what you got to do is you go to the source new and you got to create a Java class. Now the Java class, I'll just call it as watermelon. Okay. That's it. Now it's saved. Let me put this in the, okay. That's watermelon. And the reason I'm using this ID is it's fast paced. You can like write code really fast. Like for example, when you start with the Java, you, you just have to name the file and it's named the class. It does, it does it in a single way. Now we will write the main class main function. So we write the main and then you just put tab space. You get the main with public static void main and all of it. So first you need to get the input, right? And for the input, you use the scanner class or the buffer reader or anything. I'm just going to use the scanner class up here. 
So we'll just say scanner and it automatically imports the scanner from where it's supposed to and we'll call this as scanner equal to new scanner system dot in okay. that was easy to write okay now basically we just have to get that w so we will declare int w and we will call this as scanner dot next int that's the integer we supposed to get now for the w we just got to check two things one it has to be an even number and another it has got to be greater than one that's the only thing we got to do so if w is an even number which is and w is greater than 1 if it's that we just have to do system dot out dot println and you say yes else you just do system dot out dot println and you do no okay before we go ahead and we submit our code let's just check it out here we just do run watermelon dot main Okay, that's easy. Let's input eight. Yes, you can split it. That's simple. Okay, that's because we just have one case. So let me go ahead and choose a file. You open that file. Let's do submit. These are all previous times I've done. Perfect. Okay, it says wrong answer on test case five. Okay, that's sad. Oh yeah, I made a mistake. That was intended actually. But let me let me just show you why I did it. Now, let's say if you give w to be 2, it's an even number and it's greater than 1. But the problem there is if you split it, you don't get even numbers. So it has got to be greater than 2. That's So only when you go to 4, you split it, you get 2 and 2. That's even. So that's there. That's why I did that mistake so that I can show you guys what's wrong there. Okay, let me go ahead and let me go back. And we choose a file. We choose that same file again. And then we do submit. This time it should work. It's doing, yeah, it's accepted. That's cool. So that's it. Really easy. You can go ahead, you can see that problem, you can read it, and you can see the test case. Look at that. Input 8, it got test case 5 was 2. That's why it didn't work out. You, saw, you see that, guys? We can do this problem. It's really easy. You just have to think, just think a bit different and get it. So for the next video, why don't you guys go ahead and Check this out, read this problem and see if you can solve this. So I'll be coming up with the next video pretty soon. Thanks a lot for watching and until then, it's goodbye from me.